Welcome to the Ride of My Life podcast. I'm Caroline Rena, and I will be sharing with you the logistics of what I'm doing to move into a van for a while and working through the emotions and challenges that go along with it. As I develop my knowledge and awareness, I hope to connect with you as I go on this journey. Hey everyone, it's Caroline and uh, day eight of my experiment, um, the experiment being shifting every day. Um, and yesterday was an interesting day. After I wrote my blog, the day really led me into some really powerful and positive shifts. And um, that's the way it usually happens. I generally talk about what's going on in the moment when I do my blogs and I'm doing this so I can track my progress. Um, and if it's happening in the moment, it doesn't mean it's not going to change or that I feel, you know, the way I'm feeling in the moment is one thing, but it always shifts. And I know that. And that's why I'm on here. I certainly wouldn't be going through um, a process if I was having these issues and dissociating or, you know, whatever. Back in the day when I was really going through trauma and, you know, C CPTSD and things like that, I would have a bigger reason not to do this. But now that I'm in this space, I can be able to talk about it. So um, what happened was I, I, I'm out of town from where I normally stay um, to take care of some things, you know, like regular life stuff. And just the act of leaving where I live right now and going someplace else really opened things up for me. And what I've known for a long time, but have a tendency to forget is that movement does that. It changes things and it's usually for the better. So when I sit and do the same thing over and over and over again, it's like a stagnant lake where the water starts to get slimy and sticky and gross. And I have noticed times in my life where I was just afraid to move because of the things that happened. And I was like, I mentioned the um, stress response with fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. And that's usually my freeze or used to be my freeze state. Um, and in fact, things got worse instead of better. So noticing this today about how the energy was released for me for, from sitting safe in my own little cocoon room showed me again, like I said, that it's time to break out and break free, whatever that looks like. I'm using this, you know, van thing and the ride of my life as a general statement. It's not just about the van. So, um, however, the biggest thing that I learned was this, and this is important. And I really want people to hear this because a lot of us have a hard time with this. And what it is, is I am worth it just the way I am. I don't have to be or do anything for anyone else. I just get to be me. And this is where my worth lies. And I know that deeply now. And as I shift, I'll know it, you know, more and more, obviously, because it was something it took a long time to, to get to this point. So, um, you know, I've heard many, many times for years that, you know, whatever, whether it's physical, you know, losing weight or feeling better, whatever, or it's emotional. It took, it took us so many years, 30, 40, 50 years to get to where we are now. It's going to take a little bit of time to heal it. So it's not just this thing, it's a process. So knowing where my worth lies now in and of itself allows me to trust myself more, helps me and heal in deeper ways. And Again, the kicker, I, I talked about this, I touched on it yesterday, it's also where my freedom lies, and that's definitely a big deal for me. So when I talked yesterday, I mentioned, again, obviously about the van experience, you know, and it's not just about getting into and living in the van, a van, whatever that looks like. In fact, a van may or may not be what I do as I'm still in the research stage. So I am, however, fully fully experiencing new things that are coming into my life 
along with releasing the, uh, the old stuff. And um, this is just from having made the decision to go out on the road, whatever, you know, however that looks. I, I always say that because I don't really know what's happening. It's not, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going on. I'm just learning as I go. And that's how we do life, you know? And uh, uh, so I figured that this is like part of this, this is all gonna happen within this healing process. And it happens in every area of my life where things are being worked through and what happens like health and um, business, jobs, whatever that is, uh, relationships, mm -hmm. it affects all areas of my life, of our lives when we do these shifts or when we live out who, who we're being because we think we are supposed to do that. And the biggest thing, which I said, remember, wherever we go, there we are in every situation, even if it doesn't show up as boldly in some cases, it's still there because it's inside of inside of us until we heal it. Um, we are who we learned we are at the moment. And it shows up in every circumstance of, in our life. However, if we're having challenges, then we get to choose to be who we really are through a decision to heal and maybe even do something we were always afraid of doing, but have wanted to our entire lives. That's why I'm here. It's what's happening here for me, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So basically, in essence, I'm my own guinea pig. And all these experiences and lessons I'm healing from in the past actually help me to be a better transformational coach for my clients, to show that it can be done, to show me that I can do it. <laughs> and boy, will I have some good stories to share through this one. So anyway, this is a short one today. Um, I'm grateful for these opportunities and appreciate the support on the ride of my life. Have a great day. Thank you.